हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई एस एजुकेशन फ्रॉम लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीक्स आई हैव बीन रिसीविंग द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटेड देयर ग्रेजुएशंस एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशंस एंड नाउ वांट्स टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन दे आर न्यू इन द प्रोसेस सो आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज्ड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वेयर दे गेट कंफ्यूज्ड इज वाइल चूजिंग द ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट so today in this video we'll look into their problem and try to solve the problem using the simplest method possible friends as we all know the examination of upsc is conducted in three stages prelims mains and personality test where prelims is conducted on a single day which consists of two papers general studies and civil service aptitude test each for 200 marks those students who qualify the prelims appears for mains now mains consist of various papers like english language one indian language essay general studies paper 1 general studies paper 2 general studies paper 3 general studies paper 4 optional paper 1 optional paper 2 now here we must remember that we should choose one optional subject which is further divided into two papers this entire syllabus can broadly be divided into two broad categories where i call it as the section which is common to all where each and every aspirant will be appearing for the same syllabus where you do not have choice on the other hand the second category is where you have to choose under this category you have one indian language paper apart from the english language paper for example if you are from maharashtra and comfortable with marathi you can choose marathi as a language for the paper in the same section you have two papers of one optional subject that you will be choosing from the list given to you now here you have to choose this subject very very carefully because your entire destiny depends on the choice of this subject this subject will decide whether or not you will qualify the examination and at the same time it will also decide what rank you will get in the examination now before choosing the optional subject there are various myths and misunderstandings amongst the students especially those students who are new in the process who do not have much information or much experience about the examination and its process so let's first break those myths and misunderstandings there are various frequently asked questions regarding the optional subject as an educator and a guide the first question i get from the new aspirants is that which optional is a scoring optional i mean which subject can fetch you more marks so my answer to that question is it is nothing like that all subjects are the same your scoring depends on your command over the subject and the performance on the very day of examination the second question that i receive is does upsc prefer certain subjects over the others like do upsc give weightage to certain subjects and ignore the others so the answer is a big no there is never such kind of partiality in the process the third and the most important question i get is certain optional subject have smaller syllabus while few other subjects have larger syllabus so should we choose the subjects with smaller syllabus friends my answer to this question will always be that few subjects may appear to have a smaller syllabus but this is never the case at the same time your choice should not depend upon the length of the optional subject but it should depend upon your interest your liking of that subject unless and until you have interest in that subject you cannot perform well in that subject so never consider this thing as the parameter for choosing the optional length is never a choice your interest holds the matter moving on what we should do is we should have the list of all the subjects in front of our eyes So this is the list of all the optional subjects from which you have to choose one optional subject of which the syllabus is divided into two papers so you will have to appear for two papers of 250 marks each from one of the subjects from this list while choosing an optional what you should do is you should keep the list 
right in front of your eyes and in the first and the most important thing you should do is use the elimination method and eliminate all the subjects which you would not choose for example if you are a student from arts background that is you have completed your ba or ma in most of the cases such students may not select mechanical engineering medical science electrical engineering zoology botany etc etc so such kind of students according to your background according to your preference what you should do is you should eliminate all those subjects that you would not choose now this is the easiest part of the process you can very easily eliminate maximum of those subjects which you would not like or you may not choose now if you are left with only one subject then your problem is solved but in case that you are left with two or more subject then you should continue the process now if you are confused between two or more subjects then what you should do is you should get the entire syllabus of all those two or three subjects and just go through the entire syllabus of all the subjects you should get all the previous year question papers at least five previous year question papers and go through those papers to avoid or to reduce the confusion the first parameter i'll suggest you that the subject you are going to choose should be of your liking that is you should have deep interest in that subject and not just interest but you should also understand that subject at the same time there are many students i have came across who like certain topics certain subjects but do not understand when it comes to the depth of that topic the second thing that is the availability of material availability of books notes whatever the basic requirements you have while preparing the examination now in this digital world we do not face much problem in getting the material but still you should get the material whenever required the third and the most important factor or a parameter you should consider while choosing an optional is that the availability of guidance it is very important that you should have a command over your subject but while preparing a lot of times we come across certain topics where we get confused or we may not understand those topics so in that case we need guidance of our seniors or some educator or someone or some help we can get from anywhere thus i consider this parameter as one of the most important parameters last but not the least is the utility of the subject now few students may not consider this parameter as important but for me this parameter also holds the key utility of a subject means its usefulness that means if i am preparing for certain optional subject it should also help me in the other papers like general studies and essay paper for example if i am choosing geography as an optional subject then along with the 500 marks that i will be appearing with the subject as an optional will also help me in my gs paper 1 where the questions related to geography are asked for around 100 marks similarly if i choose political science or public administration as my optional it will help me in gs paper 2 if i choose sociology that will help me in the gs paper 1 where you have indian society and also the essay paper so the utility of the optional is also very important because if i am choosing an optional which is help, helping me somewhere in general studies paper that helps me in saving my time that reduces my time of preparation and in the process of upsc time is one of the most important factor the more time i can save the more time i get for revision my performance will be enhanced so consider these parameters and choose wisely choosing and dropping an optional subject in the mid process will never benefit you it will take away your time because the syllabus is vast choose it once choose it wisely also share this video with your friends who are facing with the same problem i hope this video will help you in choosing your optional subject and i hope now you could just come out of the confusion choose your optional quickly and get started with your study as soon as possible i wish you all the best for your preparation and also your future i hope this video will help you and also your friends in the process thank you